Welcome to IT and Data Warsaw Hub Innovation Podcast. My name is Piotr Żandziel. I'm from IT and Data Supporting Functions uh, in charge of Automation Center of Excellence. Today with me is Mauro Portela representing the One DBS Master Data and Wojtek Majewski representing DNA. Today we are going to talk about the process mining, about the technology which is widely used in organization One DBS. And this is why we are going to interview Mauro. So, Mauro, at the beginning, maybe let's start with your story. Uh, I did some research and I've seen that 19 years and four months in, <laughs> in Danon, nine positions, four countries, four areas. What brought you to Warsaw at the end? And if you can share your story a little bit. Yes, yeah, so thank you for this statistic. You have process mined my <laughs> profile somehow. Um, no, but uh, yes, it's been uh, quite an interesting journey with Danone until now. I, it, I have no complaints. It's been very uh, uh, compelling. And the reason I'm in Warsaw is I'm leading the master data operations um, for global and for Europe now uh, more recently. And we are based here, so our organization is based here. And so it's my third year here in Poland. Um, very excited to be here still and a lot of uh, great things we've been doing here, uh, both in partnership with IT and data, both with uh, within our own organization. Sorry. So, so Mauro, you said that you are part of DBS. Can you can you give us a little bit of overview what DBS really stands for and, and uh, how, it's, how it's important for Danone? Danone Business Services uh, is in charge of really the business services of the company now, I think over the last for years, we've been able to bring all those services as much as possible together in different service lines, we call. Yes. So master data is one of the service lines that I'm, in, that I'm uh, working in. And of course, we have record to report, uh, pro, uh, procure to pay, employee services, um, invoice to cash. Um, and so uh, we, we are really you know, taking care of most of the transactional processes of Danone. And, um, and building an organization with that capability over the last couple of years. If you can explain uh, to our audience in a simple words as possible, of course, what is, the, what is the process mining? If you can use some maybe simple example to find the common language and explain it. A process for me uh, is really an input, an activity and an output. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my own definition. I don't know if it is written anywhere, but, but that's a simple way of looking at a process. Something comes in, something gets done and something goes out. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually really see a process when you go to a Danone factory, right? You see what comes in, you see what gets mm -hmm. uh, out. produced, yes. <laughs> and then you see what goes out. So that's the perfect illustration of, of a process. To your point, what is process mining? I would, I would maybe say it's the x-ray mm -hmm. of the process. Let's, let's explore a little bit this idea that, you know, a few years ago, a few decades ago, there were no x-rays. So when a doctor was maybe uh, when you were going to the doctor, the doctor would have to assess your illness or what he would need to do to help you through external symptoms, you know, yes. maybe fever, maybe, you know, your... Or feel the pain in the ribs. Or feel the pain in the ribs. As I feel it on Tuesday <laughs> for the x-ray, yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> ah, so you did a recent x-ray. So yeah, exactly. This example will, will correlate with you. So um, it's really like an x-ray. The moment you can x-ray a human body, you gave to the medical world a completely new capability mm -hmm. to look inside uh, and to see what could be going wrong, right? And so then the, the combination of the outside symptom with the inside uh, insight can help doctors to give you the right medication, the right uh, mm -hmm. uh, corrective action for what you are needing, right? Yes. If you lack that x-ray piece, then of course you you lack a big part of information. So comparing process and and process mining, it's really how do I check that inside input activity output? How do I draw as much information from that process as I can? And then how can that information allow me to improve the process, mm -hmm. draw value, find inefficiencies, bottlenecks, or even uh, loss of, uh, of, uh, of value can also be one of the, okay. the waste that we might have in, in different processes. So would that make sense that we have kind of symptoms that we see that something is probably not going right in the process and then we have this x-ray like a proper diagnosis of where actually the problem lies? Yes, so it's uh, it's exactly that. We we have the the X-ray which helps us diagnose. But I would bring now the element of data. Okay. You didn't mention it, but mm -hmm. I will bring it if I may already. Um, having the data that explains what happened up to now and what happened next. I mean, your yes. body doesn't give that data right <laughs> away, but your processes can give you that data. And so if you blend 
the X-ray illustration with having a medical history of the patient, you can then even get a more accurate um, understanding mm-hmm. of what mm-hmm. needs to happen again in the medical world for for a patient to be cured or to be uh, to have a specific medical intervention. So processes are no different. Uh, process mining, although, will blend the process insight with the data that the process is either producing mm-hmm. or or having, and that can be looked at also from historical point of view. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what kind of symptoms you discover in your processes when you apply the process mining? So very concretely, um, we are learning quite a lot from processes that we thought we knew very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is probably the first conclusion I, I can share. Um, in master data, we, we believe we knew our process pretty well. We are now uh, looking at, for example, the vendor process. Uh, mm-hmm. so I, you know that the vendor process is a challenging one in the company. And we are looking at that process and we are finding very interesting things. But to give you a concrete example, so things around inefficiency, uh, places where a process stays too long in waiting time, but also places where data might not be any more correct and that might lead to a loss of money for the company, a loss of cash. I mean, Mm -hmm. a payment term that we negotiate with the supplier should be in our contracts, should be in our master data, should be in our purchase orders, and at the end should be in our invoice, and yes. it should be paid uh, on time according to that payment in, term. In ideal life. In the <laughs> ideal, ideal world. Process. <laughs> but as we look into processes like, like uh, let's say, contract to pay and procure to pay, we do find cases where payment terms are somehow changing. And we need to understand why that is happening, and that is obviously can be justified, but can also be non-justified, and that is a loss of direct... Uh, cash impact for the company, depending on how much is at stake mm-hmm. in that relation. You know, So that's a concrete case where uh, value uh, can come out as, a, as an output of process mining. But of course, inefficiency, waste, uh, reworking, mm-hmm. uh, all these uh, type of elements that are within our processes, um, those are the insights that we can gather and we can take action on. Okay, Mauro, so for my understanding, the purchasing process, right, it's happening in many different applications, right, because it is starting with the vendor creation in Orsoft, in SAP, then we have a a contract, we have a purchase rec, purchase order, and the invoice at the end. So I understand with the process mining, you can look into this process and what you are really looking for in this process, what you are tracking and where is at the end the value. So in fact, when we look at a process like that from end to end, and that's a very good point, I think we should always look end to end, regardless of who is in charge of the process, which system is running, we should look at process mining as a capability to X-ray the whole process. And in fact, if you take this case of uh, procurement, procure to pay, if you take a simple example of a payment term, it is a way for you to monitor that the payment term is consistently the same in all the different stages of the process and mm-hmm. that there is no places where it can change or if it does change then we can understand why it has changed and if it's justified or not justified mm-hmm. one other insight we can gather from from such a process is for example if there are any duplicate payments have i paid twice the same invoice everyone will say that's impossible. We cannot. Mm-hmm. Well, I can tell you that our data does show that this can happen. Okay. And there are some specific reasons for, for or ways for that to happen that we were not probably aware of before we process mine, before we X-rayed this process. So those are, for example, two elements that can be can be um, obtained from mm-hmm. a, from a process mining capability, looking at a process like okay. that. But maybe I can, you know, from data analytics perspective, we can bring a dashboard, a nice data product that will show you that you paid exactly, perfectly twice the same amount to the vendor. So is this a replicable thing by data products and process mining or there is something more there? So this is a, a very good question. Thank you for sharing because mm-hmm. If we were to use process mining as a dashboard, it's better not to use it, right? There will be a, a better ro- return on investment of keeping our dashboards. And I know we have quite a lot of those products, um, mm-hmm. very useful uh, products that the, the teams are using. So I would say my answer to that is that um, we need to use this capability to really X-ray our process. One of the things that uh, is very important to start with is how do you create the digital twin of your process mm-hmm. in a system? And then you can bring all the data together in one place, and that will give you the view of the real process that's going on. So a dashboard can give you a KPI, it can give you an mm-hmm. output, right? It can tell you how good the output is, but it can't really tell you what happened okay. before. Yeah. So I would differentiate that they are, they will, they will complement each other, these two capabilities. I think dashboards are still a very 
a pragmatic way for us to look at the performance, to look at analytics. But I think that process mining will give us that uh, deep understanding of what's really happening in the company in terms of activities, transactions, and processes. And that will be important because it will allow us to go faster on root cause analysis and actions to take in order to yeah. stop, for example, a duplicate payment or... Uh, um, so it's a prevention uh, mechanism. So it can bring us really to a preventive uh, uh, possibility rather than corrective reactive okay. state where probably the dashboards are more helping us on that aspect today. Okay, so I understand that we can have really PNL impact uh, with the process mining, right? Is this technology helping you to capture the value? So um, today we know that there is uh, quite significant value already on some of the use cases that we are working mm -hmm. on. Um, something around 800K is a number that might be uh, shown from time to time um, because we, we know that, for example, change, uh, different payment terms, duplicate payment, just those two cases together, they, they represent probably that amount of, uh, of cash impact. So there can be a direct impact on the PL. Mm -hmm. But I think we should always uh, understand that impacts can be diverse, right? When a process is inefficient, You don't see a direct impact on the PL by making it more efficient on day one, but you see that impact progressively over time because you're faster to the market, your, your processes are streamlined, they are quicker, and that obviously then saves the company time and it gives us a sort of more indirect value capture. So I think the PL impacts are, and by the way, uh, I think the literature outside and the, the cases we see from peer companies are showing mm -hmm. that the impacts can be significantly high. And even beyond K euros, uh, up to million euros uh, plus uh, impacts. And those are companies of our size, similar industry sometimes that are finding those type of opportunities. So I think the answer is absolutely yes. But we should look at it a more holistic way where uh, value can be captured in many different shapes and forms. Okay. Yeah. So I understand that the process mining basically is a tool when you are connecting the different other tools, other systems where the process is happening, then this one tool, the process mining, is collecting the data, analyzing, there is some pattern for the particular process, and then you have an insight and you can take a different action, right? So is it the correct understanding? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm.